Hi there, I'm Ryan Alice, and I'm doing this video project on all that I've learned by 28. Now, I'm going to talk about strategy. Strategy is simply deciding what you're going to do. But it's a very important topic in business, particularly as you enter the mid to later stages of building a successful company. Your strategy should be the one thing you want to be the best in the world at. So choose carefully. One of the things that's important in terms of thinking through strategy is bringing together lots of information from many different sources. Understanding the market, technological trends, what your competitors are doing, looking at your funding resources and the team that you have, and figuring out what collection of systems and processes enable you to do things differently and better collectively than your competitors. And so it's important as well when you're thinking through strategy just like with innovation, do it in a group that is small. Do it in a group that knows each other well and can be brutally honest when necessary about their opinions, thoughts, perspectives, and perspectives on the data that is being brought to the forefront. So I think it's a key principle about strategy is to never create strategy initially in a room of more than four people. Strategy is best set in this small type of environment. Any more and you might go in endless circles of discussion and analysis paralysis. You want to work with your heads of operations, sales, marketing, technology to start. At least that's been my experience. So here are you know eight potential people that might be in this room and you want to choose four of these individuals. Align with this smaller group and once you align with this core group then you want to align with your full executive team and then your directors and then your managers and then your full employee base. Align with the core first, then align with the rest of the team. Now it's important to bring feedback all the way up through the organization from the front lines of people who are directly interacting with the customers on a daily basis. So gather your information and have the processes in place to collect the information and bring that up and enable your executive team and your core team to have the right information to make the right decisions and then it's okay to go out of the room to get good feedback and get perspectives but align first with a small group and then expand. So what is strategy? Strategy is the, a collection of unique processes that work in unison within your company that enables your firm to be the best in the world at one thing. Too many firms lose their track by trying to be the best in the world at five things or to try to be number two or number three at something. If you focus on being the best in the world at one thing, you can often achieve that goal. And when you achieve that goal, then you can see if you can expand to being the best in the world at something else. So strategy ultimately is about trade-offs. It's about making decisions. It's about choosing not only what to do, but just as importantly, what not to do. Now, in the beginning of a startup, strategy is important, but it's almost done without a lot of thinking because it's simply the vision of the initial founders executing toward a product idea that they have. And while there's a lot of product strategy and product design, a lot of it just happens inside the head of a few, small, a few people in a small group at the beginning. What I'm talking about is building strategy when you have hundreds of employees. At iContact we got up to 300 employees and I learned a lot in my nine years there in how to set strategy and how not to set strategy as a leader of a team that was leading the organization. At the end of the day, strategy involves choosing to perform activities differently than your competitors. And so you can copy your competitors in some areas, but ultimately you need to actually take only some of what your competitors would do and do things differently that are more effective, more efficient, and end up providing more value to your customers. Ultimately, strategy is about finding ways to take advantage of the assets you have and the assets that you can bring to bear to create value for humanity. And thus, strategy is critically important in any growing organization. Thanks for watching this section on strategy. Look forward to chatting again with you.